Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Feature Face Fridays. So today is a special Purim themed uh, episode. We're going to be making Hamantaschen, those really yummy triangular looking uh, cookies. I don't know why I'm holding these. They're very delectable uh, and they're pretty easy to make and I've never made them. Purim is a very fun holiday. I actually was going to dress up. I have an Alice in Wonderland Mad Hatter uh, costume kind of thing upstairs. I was going to wear it but it's too hot out. It's a really fun holiday and the history of it is really, really good. It's very feminist, you know, you, you know the story. Haman uh, is bad, he wants to kill all the Jews, and then Ruth, Ruth, no not Ruth, Esther comes in and she's totally badass and she thwarts his plans and uh, everybody gets saved. And then now it's a holiday, you party, you drink a lot, you eat hamantaschen, you do, uh, you perform porn spiels. What was that noise? It's gonna be fun though. Uh, now in Hamantaschen, you can put any fillings that you want. Today, I decided that I'm gonna put in Nutella and apricots, sun-dried apricots. But you can put so many other ingredients in it. You can put in dried prunes, raisins, raspberries, like sprinkles, uh, get creative, cocoa puffs, anything. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get three quarter cups of sugar. Try to get a bowl like this. Now you can use your, you're gonna be kneading a lot here. Uh, so you can use your hands or you can use a stand mixer, green machine monster thing here. After that, you're gonna add three quarter cups of butter. This I did not leave out, so, but no big deal. I'm just gonna melt it in the microwave. Oh, that is a lot of butter. Oh, it's so just sticky. It's so hot today, my God. And this bowl is not big enough. Ugh. So add the hot, add this to the sh uh, sugar. So once those are added, you wanna just whisk this. So I can just use my hands for this, or not my hands, the, the whisker thing, but um, I'm just gonna use this because it's fun. So stop whisking for a minute and get an egg, add that. You're next gonna get one teaspoon of vanilla, which I may be out of, so this may be a problem, but we'll see. Oh, why does it have to come out so fast? Now you want to do this, you want to do two things at once. You want to whisk this, and as you're whisking it, add some more of the ingredients. Whisk this on low. As that's mixing, get one teaspoon of baking powder. That was very awkward, but um, you see I have vanilla on this teaspoon, so I don't want to shove it into the baking powder. After that, get a half teaspoon of salt there. And then of course, you're gonna end it with two and a half cups of flour. I went to a Purim event uh, right before quarantine happened that the Hevra put together here in Philly. And it was great, it was a really good time. I don't really remember any of it, but I do remember dancing. It's a fun holiday though. My biggest regret though is that I lost my grogger thing. Is that what it's called? Grogger? Yeah, like the like the thing that spins. Uh, lost it that, like, that night too, which is really sad. Very good, so let this whisk. You want this to get, you know, kind of like whenever you're making cookies, you want it to get into a nice uh, firm ball of, of, of uh, dough, uh, whatever you would call this, dough. It's dough, right? The, the, yeah. So I'm gonna stop this and I'm gonna use my hands to knead the rest of it. Wow, that is like all stuck in there. It smells very sweet. It smells how it should smell, which is good. This makes me want to go to the beach really badly just because it smells so sweet. Do beaches like smell sweet to you guys or just me? Okay. I'm sorry, I'm, I, I'm talking in my head out loud. Using your hands, just need. Oh, let's start over. Uh, using your hands, just knead this, uh, you know, a little bit more. Uh, this is pretty much done, but at the end, though, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Can this be any louder? Shut up. Oh, where's the treasure map thing? Oh, I didn't get that out. 
Next up, it's gonna it's gonna take a little while, but what you want to do next is get aluminum or not aluminum plastic wrap out here. Put this on the counter. What you want to do is you're going to refrigerate this for two hours. What is it with plastic wrap? Why does it have to shrink every time I take it off? So take out this, and what you want to do is try to put this into a kind of a rectangular shape. Rectangular and slightly uh, tall too, because you want to let this get nice and cold and, and, and more firm as it's in the refrigerator. Wrap this up like a little Purim. Uh... Oh my God, what is it called? What's it called on Purim, the gifts that you get? Oh, I got some for my parents and I can't even remember the, oh, Mishloach Manot, Mishloach Manot. I got Mishloach Manot for my parents, but then they were away, so I just gave it to my neighbors. Uh, another thing, make sure your refrigerator is not, does not look like this because then there's no room to put the stupid food. What is with all the beer and like people? I know we're still depressed about this, but come on. Two hours has passed. So dad, or whatever your name is, cameraman, don't get my neck because I'm peeling because I got really badly sunburned last weekend, so. Stop. All right, you're not funny. So two hours has passed. Let Ooh, this is like a rock, my goodness. So sprinkle a little bit of flour here because you're gonna be flattening all of this. Is that, ch who the hell made chili? Where the heck did that come from? <laughs> Unwrap this, put it here, and then get a rolling pin here and you're gonna, oh my God. This is the hardest thing I've ever rolled. Rolled? Rolling? Roll What's the past tense? I can't remember. Get it nice and flat. Uh, leave it a little thick at the top. I forgot to say to set your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Stop it. God. This happens every time I roll. Every time. No! Next thing you want to do is get a cookie cutter. Now, I don't know, I'm probably going to make, I don't know, maybe like eight or ten of these, so we shall see. As usual, we'll get all of the excess dough here. I don't like food waste. I am a firm uh, believer in not wasting food, so I like to use as much of it as I can. Anytime I'm in a restaurant and someone didn't finish their dinner, I'll just eat the dinner for them because I just, it, it drives me nuts. I really can't stand it. Alrighty, now we are gonna add the filling. So I selected Nutella and uh, apricots. Apricots I've never had in my life. I actually didn't know. I thought it was just like a nickname for somebody. But yeah, they are legit, they're real and um, Remember, the thing that sets Hamantaschen apart is that it's shaped like Haman's hat. Haman also, cameraman, when I say Haman, you're supposed to yell boo, but don't do it. Please don't do it, because I have a knife. Here's what you do. So, boo. Let's see, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13, that's not divisible by, oops, that's not divisible by two. So, um, but I like chocolate more than apricots, so I'll just do this on uh, uh, seven of them. You don't have to put a ton on. Just do a little, you know, tiny little knife full. Put that there, right in the middle of it. And now you got to turn this into a hat. Left side here, take the right side, fold it over the left side like that. And then the bottom here, you're going to bring up like this. See? And then you, you fold these on the side like that. And there you go. See, so you make it look like a hat or a, a, a V-shaped hat, you know? It's old school. These are thick, but to be fair, I've had really thick Hamantaschen before, so it's, it's okay. <laughs> that does not look like a hat, that just looks kind of inappropriate and I'm not going to say it on camera. We got our chocolate one, so now let's do the apricots. So these, I guess you just put like one on in the middle there. 
Yeah, I mean, I can't. I'm, I'm not gonna dice that or anything. I just, I, I don't dislike them. I just like them only in Hamantasha. So we got the first batch here. Get a cookie sheet, grease it, and then you're gonna put these on. You're gonna cook these for about 25 minutes or until they are brown-ish. We also, ladies and gentlemen, if you notice, we have a new oven, uh, brand new. And it also, we don't uh, honor the Sabbath that seriously. Well, my parents don't because they're not Jewish, but there's actually a Sabbath like option on here. I'm a little worried, you guys, because these were actually hard to make in the... Oh! Not, but a little wobbly and kind of weird. Not wobbly, that's not the right word. They look weird, but they look edible, and that's all that matters. As you see, I made a second batch right here that I'm gonna put in after the, uh, I take these off, but I'm not gonna record that. I mean, you don't need to watch that. Perfect, see, we have a nice little mix. I was gonna get dried prunes, but they were really expensive. They came in a box that was like that big, and it was like $8.99, and I was like, hell no, I'm not paying for that. I'm gonna try one of these, but it's gonna be really hot, I mean. Mmm, it tastes just um, like an ordinary common toss would taste. Mmm. Okay. Tastes like chocolate pot. Sorry. Happy Purim. I'm just kidding. The funny thing about Purim is like I, I tell all my non Jewish friends about it and they always think I'm saying porn. I'm like, no, poor rum. Poor rum. It's a holiday. And they're like, porn? I'm like, no drives me nuts. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, stay safe out there. Please subscribe to our channel. Please follow us on social media. Visit us pjff.org. We have a lot of fun stuff coming up and yeah, see you next week. Mm -hmm.